for his uh, new trainer here in Jack uh, DeSmet will certainly run very well. There's the update with Zab Per, very short at 240. That is gross unders. Uh, Sir Avalanche, interesting runner, has been gelded since his last run. He's had 13 months off, Sir Avalanche. And he's a horse who has won three of five at this distance and two at the track. So it remains to be seen whether he'll come up here first up after being gilded after such a long break. But a horse like Vronsky, as we spoke to Alan Abrahams as well, has a good chance. It's $16. The other horse is in the market on track. 13 Mystic Storm uh, is in the market as well. Uh, Zabper is the favourite, but certainly a lot better than the 6-4 to four on TAB that you're seeing. 16 Princess on parade. As I go back to... Uh, to you, Chris, you might remember, in fact, uh, Tony Campbell shortly. Uh, Princess on parade, she's only won the one race, but she's been in very good races of late class six company, a lot better uh, than what you're seeing here, here today. And she won her first start in a race uh, from memory at Randwick. So it's a good race to last. 10, 14, 16 from Michael Heath for the Mounting Yard Mail. But whatever you're on, I hope you win. And here's Tony Campbell. Moving in. Yes, this is the last. The Hawkesbury Panthers rendezvous. Hilton's been working very hard down there. Now Toledo Twig about to move in. Yeah, it's a very good field this. Some very promising gallopers. Zab Purr's the favourite on the tote. Good support for number two, Federal Agent. Now a dollar goes up. Mystic Storm is out of line with Fusser Vronsky, Zab Purr, Sir Avalanche, Indigo Joe. Previous race today was taken out by number seven Bleep, Jamie Whitney, beating four space Prince, Jamie Late, and six Bayview, Raleigh Saxton was third. The feature race today, in case you may have missed it, the Chief Minister's played a good finish. Two season star, Adrian Late first, just beating McJoey, ridden by John Scorse, and six Optima, Kevin Sweeney was third. The winner scored by a short, uh, a short neck. No, that was wrong. A half head, the winning margin. Season star beating McJoey by a half head. Now, three to move in here. Waiting on Vronsky, Indigo Joe, and uh, Sir Avalanche to move along. Zab Purr, we say so down towards the inside, stands up well for the uh, Hawkesbury Panthers rendezvous heat. And of course, the Hawkesbury Cup, not all that far away, early December. It's always a tremendous day's racing. Brian Fletcher and his staff are doing a marvellous job up there and they're, they're setting this up as one of the best ever Hawkesbury Cup meetings. I think it's Thursday the 3rd off the top of my head. I think it's Thursday the 3rd of December. So good luck to the Hawkesbury Club with their Cup meeting. Now Vronsky goes up. Vronsky moves in. Waiting on Indigo Joe and uh, Sir Avalanche. And don't forget we've got another Sunday meeting a fortnight today, Yas Cup Day. That's always a huge day. More Sunday racing, today fortnight. And that is Yas Cup Day. I think that's the Sunday after the Hawkesbury Cup. It is Hawk Hawkesbury Cup Thursday, Goury Cup Mudgee Friday, and back here to Canberra on the Sunday for the big Yas Cup meeting. It'll be a Sky meeting, and also a TAB meeting, obviously. Now the rider of Sir Avalanche has dismounted. That horse will be led up riderless. Now Indigo Joe about to move along. Favourite on the toad is Zab Purr, trained by Barbara Joseph. Now just waiting on Indigo Joe to move along and uh, Sir Avalanche. Now Sir Avalanche resuming, had good form in last in work, but uh, it's first start back, it's now a gelding. So it's racing a little bit differently this time. It's a gelding, it's first start back from a spell. Whether or not that makes any difference or not remains to be seen. But it had a bit of ability when last in work. Sir Avalanche hasn't raced since, uh, oh, nearly 12 months. Or over 12 months, in fact. Now, we say so stands up towards the inside. Indigo Joe is just behind the stalls. Sir Avalanche some distance behind the gates. Now, waiting on Indigo Joe. Now, Sir Avalanche is some distance behind the barrier stalls. Fairly reluctant to go up towards the stalls, but he's getting a little bit closer now. Although, Sir Avalanche in a very stubborn mood over there. That's Indigo Joe just behind the barrier stalls, waiting to go in, in the green and blue colours. All the other runners are standing up well. We say so, drawn the inside of the line. 
Now, the blocked hand's behind Sir Avalanche, but he's still got about 20 or so metres before he reaches the barrier stalls over there at the 1200. But he's getting a little bit closer now. Now, just waiting on Indigo Joe to move along, and uh, Sir Avalanche. He may be a little bit annoyed that he's racing as a different horse this time in. That he's racing as a gelding and not a horse, apparently. Now, Sir Avalanche goes up. Now they're all in, boxed and ready for the last. The Hawkesbury Panthers rendezvous heat. Now the line is set, just waiting on the light. They're under starter's orders now. This is race eight. They're set. And away they go now. Vronsky missed it by about a length or so. And Panchetto and Federal Agent didn't jump all that well. Zab Purr's back third last. Now Princess on Parade got away well. Fuss is up running second, followed by Sir Avalanche. Not too far away, Mystic Storm, followed by Indigo Joe. Down towards the inside was a dollar. Federal Agent's made up a bit of ground now. Back behind those, Zab Purr centre field, followed by Vronsky. We say so as second last in a length and a half then. Panchetto at the tail of the field as they leave the back and race down the side. And Fusser takes over now, but joined by Sir Avalanche on the outside. Princess on Parade settling down well third, followed by Mystic Storm. Going up three wide, Toledo Twig, followed then by a dollar. In between runners, Federal Agent, back behind those three wide, Indigo Joe. Down towards the inside, we say so, followed by Vronsky, well back on the turn. And the next one was Panchito and Zabpa last of all. Around the turn, inside the 400 metre mark, and Fuss has shaken up as the leader, Avalanche. Here's Mystic Storm, joining in on the outside. Princess on Parade, looking for a way out on the rails. And the next one, running on fairly well, was Federal Agent now, and Zabpa's putting in a run. Out wide, Federal Agent Russ raced up to Fusser. In between those princes on parade, it's Federal Agent racing away near the line. Federal Agent a big win. Missed the jump, but first home. Federal Agent first, princes on parade second. Fusser third, followed by Mystic Storm. Uh, further back in the field then to Flying Debris. 80, 16 princess on parade, 280. 9 Fusser, 180. 2, 16, 9. And our thanks to, to Tony Campbell there at Canberra this afternoon. Kilmore's only a minute off. Built in Hobart, 27 Mindful Mistress, Chubby Browns at 19 Benrick Bale.